Uh, I don't know why I suggested this place. Joy recommended it. Well, at least we're together. I mean, I never get to see you. You're so busy. No, you're so busy. No, you are. No, you are. No, you are. Well, I guess I am. You too. In fact, if I have to do one more interview... I guess it's hard, all this success. It's just... I'm so tired of being admired all the time. I mean, all these men, they are beautiful, artistic minds, great sex, the whole package, but hollow, you know what I mean? I feel nobody's honest with me. Nobody wants me for me. They're not real friends. Oh, Trish, I wish I had your life. Husband, kids, <laughs> carpool. I may have it all. But you know, sometimes I wonder what my life might have been like if I'd actually tried to write a novel. I'm sure it would have been good. Maybe I will write one. You should. Just try. No, I don't need that kind of success. <laughs> well, listen to us. We who have everything while joy, what does she have? You're so right. And she's just getting older. Mm. Last night she called while I was in bed with Huraki. I think. And she was in tears. She told me she'd quit her job. But that's her lifeline. Uh, she said she wanted to change her life, work with the poor, the needy. Oh, I don't get it. Don't even try. Anyway, this is all top secret. She doesn't want anyone to know. Oh. But she told you. <laughs> she felt she could trust me. Because I always thought I was someone she could confide in. <laughs> Did you speak to Jane? Oh. You mean about to split up? Oh. I thought that was all top secret. No, oh, just for joy, sensitive joy. Everyone else knows. Oh. Can I get you ladies anything else? Dessert? Coffee? Just the check, please. <gasps> Thank you for lunch. I really enjoyed this. <laughs>